This latest lawsuit alleges the music mogul ganged a woman 20 years ago when she was only 17. A woman identified as Jane Doe I alleges she was 17 when Sean Combs and two others trafficked her for and her. But we stand this. Nobody else to look at, nobody else to blame. Nobody that could really fix it. In the wake of a fourth lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of serious allegations of sexual assault, the music industry is buzzing with controversy. The accuser, identified as Jane Doe, asserts that she was a victim of trafficking and assault at the age of 17, involving Diddy and his associates. The legal proceedings have taken a dark turn with graphic details, triggering concerns, and garnering attention. In a surprising turn of events, F. Cent, a fellow artist, has announced that the proceeds from his upcoming documentary on Diddy will be donated to support victims of sexual assault. Moreover, he has implicated Diddy's close friend, Rick Ross, hinting at a need for investigation. Speculations about Diddy and Ross engaging in questionable activities together have surfaced, with F. Cent promising to reveal more in his documentary. The recent lawsuit against Diddy comes with a trigger warning, reminiscent of a similar warning associated with a past lawsuit involving Cassie. Legal experts are suggesting that these new allegations might lead to criminal charges against Diddy. Despite the mounting pressure, Diddy has vowed to fight for the truth and has taken a defiant stance against the accusations. In a strategy reminiscent of R. Kelly's defense, Diddy seems poised to appeal to the public, painting himself as a victim of false allegations. The parallels with R. Kelly's case, where a public interview became a turning point, have raised questions about the effectiveness of such tactics. The lawsuit filed by Jane Doe provides chilling details of the alleged assault in 2003. She claims to have been drugged and assaulted by Diddy, Harve Pierre, and an unnamed third individual. The narrative unfolds as Jane Doe describes a harrowing ordeal, accusing Diddy of not only participating, but also watching as she was assaulted by others. Unlike many cases where victims come forward after decades, Jane Doe claims to have evidence of her presence with Diddy on the night in question. Photos taken that night depict her in Diddy's lap, reinforcing the severity of the allegations. In response, Diddy took to Instagram to vehemently deny the accusations, accusing his alleged victims of pursuing monetary gain. Sources close to the situation suggest that Diddy may adopt a similar strategy to R. Kelly, portraying himself as a victim against false accusations. Whether this approach will sway public opinion or influence the legal outcome remains to be seen. As the legal battle unfolds, the focus shifts to F. Sense documentary, which promises to delve into the allegations against Diddy and potentially expose others involved in enabling these crimes. The decision to donate proceeds to support sexual assault victims adds another layer of intrigue to this unfolding saga. Meanwhile, rumors circulate about Rick Ross's involvement, with videos and lyrics suggesting a possible connection to the alleged crimes. Fans are demanding investigations into the actions of not only Diddy, but also those who may have assisted or participated in any way. The silence from high-profile industry figures and former associates of Diddy adds a mysterious element to the unfolding narrative. Fans are expressing concern and demanding accountability for all involved parties, questioning the nature of Diddy and Rick Ross's relationship. As the lawsuit progresses, an F-Sense documentary takes shape. The music industry braces for potential revelations that could reshape the perception of these influential figures. The implications for Diddy and his associates remain uncertain, leaving fans and observers eager to see how this complex and disturbing story will ultimately unfold.